Pizzaholics! Pizzaholics! What could be better than a nice sunny afternoon? And then a sunny afternoon with a couple of pizzas in your hands. Let's go eat. Hey, what's happening everybody, all my Pizzaholics? So I'm here at a little place called Village Maria. And so as for Village Maria, will it stand out among the ordinary, among the plebeians of pizzas? Let's find out guys, let's go dig in. We got two grandma slices, guys. Two grandma slices. Grandma Sicilian, thin crust. Very thin, super thin. Not exactly tavern pizza, but uh, it's really thin. I'm really, really excited because I usually don't get pizza like this. Uh, if you saw the beginning of the video, this place specializes in a lot of pan pizzas. They specialize in a lot of pan pizzas, uh, gourmet stuff, uh, crazy toppings, chicken, uh, the, the peppers and the, the, the roasted peppers and the eggplant with the balsamic glaze. I was really itching to try that, but I'm a plain guy. And I wanna know how good is their plain pizza? Because if their plain pizza sucks, everything else sucks usually. <laughs> this one looks right for the taking. Really light, really light pizza, really thin. There is some char along the edges of this pizza, uh, but the char isn't even. It's not like evenly spread char, no leopard skin char or anything like that. It smells good. Mm. All right, guys, let's move in. Let's move on in and analyze this uh, pretty decent pizza. I. It's not that it wasn't good, but uh, I think the crust is very tavern style. Yeah, it, it's almost like a tavern style. There's zero airiness to this crust. And according to my preference, my preference, uh, it's not what I look for in a pizza. I mean, you may not mind. A lot of people love these pizzas. Grandma Sicilians are, are huge sellers. They outsell regular Sicilians out here. Everybody wants that crunch. And this offers plenty of that. However, it, it could have used a slight, a slight area center, just slightly, slightly, because it's, it's very much in the tavern style. Uh, and I don't go for that thing. Uh, cheese is charred. There's some caramelization going on there throughout the back. I like that. Cheese spread evenly end to end. Not the case with sauce, uh, as is the case with most grandma-style slices. The sauce is ladled on. In this case, it's put on in stripes. And uh, you're going to get some uh, real estate. You're going to get some empty real estate between bites. And you might find yourself just eating cheese and crust and missing out on sauce. I almost want to take a butter knife. I swear, I feel like taking a butter knife right now and spreading this sauce evenly throughout. <laughs> you know, just spread it around. Get it on there evenly. On the bright side, though, when you, do, when you do take a bite into that saucy part, you're getting a mouthful of sauce. You may miss a mouthful of sauce on some bites, but when you do bite into that sauce, guys, you're getting a mouthful of sauce and some pretty damn good sauce at that. That was one of the best things that stood out for me when I took a bite into this pizza. Look at that tomato. Mounds of sauce. Mounds. Hills. Not quite mountains, but pretty good. Very pulpy. Zero paste. It did feel a little... It's almost on the runny side. I would consider this a runny sauce, which I love. What I also love, guys, is that grated cheese. Look at all that hard grated cheese on there. Gave the pizza a nice, sharp tang to it, which I love. The basil didn't really hit me. There is some basil on there. As a matter of fact, it, it may very well be parsley. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't, I couldn't tell when I, when I bit into it. No, that's basil. Pretty good. It had some, had some taste to it. 
Some basil, you don't even taste it. It's like bitter. But not bad, not bad. It's some grease. Some grease, you can see the sheen. There's some oil on there, but it's really good cheese. This is good quality, low moisture mozzarella. As you can see, it's very white in color as opposed to yellow. And it, uh, it had some good viscosity to it, you know? It's not like you're biting into a hard layer of modified food starch or butter, you know what I mean? It's good cheese, pretty good cheese. Good viscosity, little dense. Nice density to it, not greasy. And when the undercarriage is pale, there is some caramelization along the edges. There is some char there, but that's about it, guys. Very pale undercarriage. And what do we say on this channel, guys? When the undercarriage, when the undercarriage is pale, we move it down the scale. Peach got cold. We don't give Sicilians another fold. The Sicilian, stiff as a board, thin, uh, but, uh, you know, Sicilians can get floppy, so let's hold it up a little bit, cool down. A crust is holding up, it's retaining its shape, maintaining its shape. All right, guys, it's about time we score this thing. What are we going to give it? Well, I liked the pulpy, fresh tomato sauce. I really enjoyed it. Nice and pulpy. It wasn't, like, laden with sugar or paste or overly sweet. It was very naturally sweet. Really good sauce. Cheese was pretty good, low moisture mozzarella. Nothing, you know, nothing extraordinary. You'll find cheese like this on pizza in 99% of the places here in New York. Crust, that's where this pizza went downhill. Uh, for me personally, it's very much like a tavern style. I don't prefer that. It's like, uh, it's like a cracker. You know, it's more like a cracker as opposed to, uh, you know, a little fluffy bread, bready consistency. I would have liked some more airiness in that crust but good flavor pretty good flavor hard cheese good basil hey pizza like this can only get a seven six at least for me you may like it better than i do totally recommend it by the way i'm using a gimbal for this video first time stepping up the game man going high tech using an ice steady uh, hohem gimbal hohem is the name of the gimbal i totally recommend it if you're into vlogging if you haven't followed me on instagram yet please do I already did my first walk. I walked through the neighborhood and discovered this place yesterday during my evening walk. And uh, uh, here I am reviewing it. So yeah, in the future, as the channel grows and more people tune in to the channel, I'm going to make you guys decide. As the channel grows, I'll let you guys decide. As uh, who, uh, you watch me live walking through the streets of New York, throughout the boroughs, and not just New York, but the country. I'm going to Boston soon in the spring. Uh, as I pass by restaurants, I'll let you guys decide uh, which place to review. Pretty good, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Maybe next time I'll try one of those pan pizzas, you know? But I don't know. It's You want to take advantage of the thin crust here in New York City. Go for the thin stuff. You don't want to go to New York City and, and order a, a Chicago pan pizza. You know what I mean? You just don't. You just don't. You don't want to go to New York City and order a uh, bar pizza. Go to Boston for the bar tavern pizza. Go to Boston for the tavern pizza. It's like going to the Bahamas and ordering a gabagool sandwich. You know what I mean? You don't go to the Bahamas and order a gabagool sandwich. By the way, gabagool, that's what everybody calls. That's what Italian-Americans call gabagolo, which is a shoulder ham, a pork ham, a shoulder cut pork ham. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's a review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like, share, sub. It would really help me out, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember... Keep those bellies full, preferably with some good-ass pizza. This is Antonio, signing off.